and we're sitting outside <laughs> uh, in the driveway because like I said I gotta get my wife's van back in the garage uh, every night so until it's painted um, this is where it's going to stay um, I hate to say it she's probably gonna have to lose her space at least for one day while I bolt everything back together once it's all cleaned up and painted and get it slid back underneath the vehicle but for now this is its home sitting out on the side of the gr garage here a um, couple things I'm going to do uh, I got to get all this linkage torn off got to get the uh, spindles all that stuff has to come out upper and lower control arms springs shocks all the fuel lines all that crap has to come off um, one thing I am going to do though before I start tearing stuff down this outer tie rod end where it bolts to the spindle I'm going to measure from the center of this bolt over to the center of the other outer tie rod end where it bolts to the other spindle so I can get a measurement of exactly how far apart this is so when I put it back together I got a um, like a half ass straight uh, alignment on it so I can uh, get it to a uh, shop for a true front end alignment um, I've also got to take off hold on, I don't want to sandblast these these front impact uh, cushions that go in between the front bumper and uh, bolt to the frame so I'm going to take these loose so uh, I'll just like probably hand sand and paint these just to make them look good and uh, got to get off the steering gear and basically it's just a bunch of tear down um, I'm using different upper control arms but I'm saving the bottom so I got to strip those down I'm going to put new ball joints in them um, make sure they're blasted and painted so they look nice and um, uh, the kit I got, um, I heard a lot of this online where um, some of these aftermarket kits that sell uh, poly bushings and everything um, when they sell uh, ball joints and tie rod ends and stuff. I've been hearing a lot about um, guys online that are having problems with the ball joints from some of these companies. So I'm running out and I'm buying a set of Moog ball joints, uh, lower ball joints for both sides. So I use those because Moog's a good name and uh, I trust them. So. And do that for the ball joints and that's about it really it's right now it's just a bunch of thrash and just going to tear a bunch of stuff off the frame and try to strip it down as much as I can to uh, where it's bare so when I sandblast it um, I can paint it and get it back together all right well I guess I got a at least a half day ahead of me taking stuff off so that's what I'm doing